Hello all you beautiful beings of light. Today is July 30th, 2020 and I actually started coming on doing a live earlier. I was trying to take you guys out to what we would call, they we call the copper mines. It's where they used to mine copper over in Killarney and um, I was going to take you out there and I just could not. Um, first of all there was like so many tourists around and then when I could get away from the tourists, I couldn't get uh, the bars to go up on my things. So I couldn't get any like coverage or anything like that. And then I tried doing it in my car and that wasn't working and this wasn't feeling the energy. So I said I'd wait till I came home to do it. So like, okay, so I got lots to talk about today. Uh, but first I just wanted to say like today is July 30th, uh, 2020. It's been a year now since I went to the well in Tara. Today is the day last year that uh, I went in and I um, put the Andara into the well and um, brought in, helped bring in the crystalline um, water to flow in that into the well. And so I can't believe it's been a year. So much has happened since then. Uh, I just cannot believe that it's been a year since I did that. And then, of course, I wanted to um say uh, all the people that were that went with me up to do that grid work up in in uh Tara last year um just want, I I just wanted to say thank you for doing that with me I really um enjoyed it and there was one um lovely lovely man that took us up there he was the caretaker of the area and took us up to the well and he passed, I think it was in November, I think it was like November 6th or something like that. He passed um, in his sleep and so I just wanted to take a little bit of time just to, because it's been a year since then, and just say, Niall, if you're out there, Niall O'Sullivan, you're probably watching me, who knows. <laughs> Maybe you're not. Maybe you're out at the well today. And um, I just wanted to say thank you for all that you did and I know that you're still taking care of the well, even though you're not here with us um, physically. So I just wanted to say that. And um, okay, so the energy, the energy is very, very strong. This, this, this lion's gate is coming in, and it's hitting us. <laughs> it's hitting us big. Um, there is a need for um, white light doing a lot of white lighting. There's a, there's a need for that right now. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, um, there's a need to basically white light yourself and, as much as possible throughout this because we're the energies are just so strong coming in right now and there's a lot of, I myself, I'm getting um, ascension symptoms that are, um, it's like my head is like, I don't even know how to explain it. In my head, um, behind my eyes, and like up around in 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 this area, it it's like um, I want to say it's fuzzy, but it's not fuzzy. It's like I don't know. It's like the pressure, and then and then it just feels like woo, like I'm out of this world, like I'm flying a little bit high. So I think like a lot of grounding is needed as well. We need to ground, ground, ground as much as possible um, in these times. So, I did pull some cards. Um, I pulled them before I went out this morning and it's now like, I don't know, around 3.30 in the afternoon. And uh, I went for a swim. I'm feeling, I was feeling a little bit more at peace today because um, the, I had a little bit of sadness when I went uh, into the swimming pool yesterday when I came to the realization that okay, like it's not going to be the way that it was before this um, COVID hit. There's like so many restrictions and everything. And like they are, you have to make an appointment, but you're not even, they're jamming us into the pool like um, like sardines trying to, to swim. And there really isn't um, space to do like a proper swim. And when I swim, I 
kind of go out of my body and I don't even like I go into like some other world or meditation when I'm swimming and I don't know what's going on around me I just go up and down up and down up and down and I'm not able to like fully go there because I know there's someone in the lane with me and I have to like make sure I don't kick them or hit them or anything so I have to be like observant at all times and I wasn't feeling like I was able to actually get that feeling of release that I normally get or whatever it is that I normally get when I go swimming so I wasn't feeling refreshed I was feeling actually aggravated <laughs> yesterday and um and then I came home, like I was uh, complaining to the people of the staff. I was like, you can't, there's not enough room in the pool for like two people in one lane that there's, if, this is insane. And, um, and they were like, well, we have to do what we have to do, you know? And then I came home and I was complaining to my husband and he just looked at me and he says, who do you think you are? He's like, who do you think you are? Do you think you're like the diva or something? Like that you deserve to have the pool all to yourself? And he kept like, and I was like, no, I don't feel like I should, I'm like that. I just like want, I'm feeling like if I have to book the place, if I have to book a spot, I want to be able to actually go in and actually do something other than just stand in the water. I want to be able to like swim. I don't want to, I don't want to be just like, worried I'm going to hit somebody all the time and um it's just like it, I, I was just trying to explain this <laughs> and he just kept saying you know he says like you should be grateful and he's right you should be grateful that you even get to go into the swimming pool just be grateful for that and um and know that you can that you you're able to do this again it's something that you love to do and you're able to do it and so he just kind of like, he he kind of made me see a little bit of reasoning. And he goes, why don't you just um, like do it a different way? He's like, um, call up your friends. Like there's people that are members that are friends that swim there. He's like, call them up and see if you can like book at the same time. So that if you have to share a lane with somebody, at least you can compromise. Like you can do like one of you can do aqua aerobics on the side and then um, the other one can do laps for like, because we're only allowed 20, 45 minutes. So let's say 20 minutes, someone can do the laps and then and and then you can switch. And so or you can like take the lane and like kind of like sw like swim this way and like say this is the middle of the pool so you're swimming this way and then turn around and then go back and so like the other person can swim this way and so like you you're not going to hit each other but you just have a smaller lap like a smaller lane and I was like okay okay I have to find a way to compromise and then I went in today and I just apologized to the staff I said I'm sorry I like I kind of like complained a lot yesterday and um, I said it's just really hard to um, come in and go swimming when you have to swim like right in the same lane with somebody and I said it's just really difficult and it was just really frustrating me and um, I, I said I'll come in earlier if I have to you know or something but it was just really frustrating me I was like I like when I swim I don't know what's going on around me I, I I go up and down the pool up and down the pool and down to have to be like worried about like hitting someone on this side or hitting someone on that side and then if you're in the one lane there's like these little juts out on the pool that jut out because it's like I think it's like holding the wall up and like you can't move it but like if you put two people in there you're going to smack into the <laughs> into the wall because like I wouldn't know what I was doing and so <laughs> I was just like all upset and I apologize to all those people um for being like I was being a bitch really <laughs> I, and I I apologized this morning um to the one girl that was there and um do you know like I felt really bad but it was just I had to come I had to come to terms with it and I was like okay it's not going to be the way that it used to be and I have to be okay with that life is just not going to ever be normal and um, this is the way it's going to be so I'm very grateful that my swimming pool is back and I'm very grateful for the people that run the pool and um, I'm very grateful for them even making it 
possible for us to do that because like my husband was like saying they're running that at a loss because they're not able to have a full capacity and they're running it they you know they're running it at a loss so that was just like that's my whole thing my little talk or my rant I guess <laughs> so that's the way I was feeling so then today when I went in um, I was much more adjusted in my head and I kind of knew I was going to have to share a lane with somebody and I had called a friend who was actually there at the same time and I said listen if there's like two people per lane can we at least share a lane so that we can like make a compromise so we can't hit each other and stuff and she's like yeah yeah so we'll do that so um and then I was talking to another lady in the pool and she said that we could do that as well, other members. And like we kind of came around it and looked at it on, on, on in a different way. And um, I think everything's going to be fine. Um, and then like I got to thinking about it and one of the ladies that works there today, she said to me, you know, there's three weeks and then the kids will be back to school. And then there won't be as many like families in and stuff like that. It'll be mostly just members and we can all kind of like work with each other and I think things will be better so I'm feeling more at peace I'm feeling more like okay and when I went for the swim today I actually felt like I could go a little bit I had I had the lane all to myself and um, they were joking around with me they said oh we're gonna put VIP next to your name because you think you're the very important person I'm like yeah put VIP next to my name <laughs> The, you know like we can laugh about it now but I got really upset about that yesterday and my husband was the one that brought me back down and he said you need to like be grateful <laughs> he's like who do you think you are and uh, he was right so I'm saying it in public I'm not perfect I'm not a perfect human but um you know, so the energies, I got this whole big huge paper because I pulled some cards and then, and then I wrote about it and then I've got all this information coming through with the cards that I pulled. Um, so we've got, I'm going to show you the cards first and then I'm going to hold up the card as I'm, as I'm going. So we got the dolphin card, which is the first time I've ever chosen the dolphin card before. <coughs> Sorry. Um, it's the first time I've ever chosen the dolphin card before. And, like, look at this card. You know, you've got the, your dolphin, you've got the earth, and then you've got this grid. And it's, like, showing the grid around it and everything. And then I picked out of this other deck, I got the card. It's called Endings. And it's saying, You Are Held. So it's the card of Endings. And then I got the card called Up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hold the cards up while I'm talking about the cards. Sometimes these two cards kind of work together, and then um, this one kind of is all by itself. So I'm going to hold this one up while I'm reading the first part. So um, it says, a lot of you are going through a huge frequency shift at the moment. You're coming more online with your light body. You could be opening the higher chakra system to receive the frequencies of crystallized light into the body. Your central nervous system might be taking a hit. And some may be experiencing light body symptoms that are particularly affecting the lungs, inner ear, brain, central nervous system, and your DNA. Which is what I was just talking about. Like, I feel like my head's going to pop off. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how other else. To, it's like, this is, it's like this, oh, this, this jittering thing in my head. And I just feel like um, I need to go lay down because, like, I need to get rid of it. But then when I lay down, I can't either. Okay, so um, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Uh, we advise that you integrate the dolphin frequencies in order to help you cope with these symptoms. Maybe even listen to dolphin music at the moment. This will help you enhance your ability to communicate and feel better. And what I did last night was I went online, I think I went into the YouTube, and I actually downloaded um, dolphins swimming, and it was like this music, and then they were doing their little music. You know, I can't do the dolphin noise because I'm not a <laughs> And um, I played that for like about an hour and uh, tried to like fall asleep with it or whatever. But um, yeah, 
and I do feel a little bit better because of it. So just if you can go into YouTube, I know that there's a maybe after in the in the comments I might if if we have like some comments up in here, I might actually put the uh, the music up as a link so you can um, have the dolphin music. And it's all on YouTube, so it's and you can download it or do whatever you want with it. Um, so yeah, it might help. It just might help, um, kind of like tune your frequencies as we're going through the ship. Because what they're explaining is that we're basically like gone offline. <laughs> we need to like be rebooted. It's like a computer, and like the computer has basically shut down, and it's on its time for reboot. And we're just kind of like, when it shuts down and it gets rebooted, it's like you feel like you don't have a connection, you just feel all fuzzy, you feel like that. And they're just saying that the dolphin music and dolphins bring in the dolphin energy and that will help. Okay? And then I got the You Are Held card. And this is a Metatron deck card. And... um Let me just see where I left off. It says, You are being held at this time. We, your guides, and Metatron want you to to know that you can call on us anytime things get too much. Please know you are not alone. And this is the, this card too. This is why these two cards kind of come together. But I'm going to hold this one because it's got a nice fractal in it, and you can it's the picture is really nice. Um, please know you are not alone. All you need to do is look up and ask for help and we will carry you for a bit. The world needs you, the real you. Low self-worth may be impeding some of your perceptions of, what, of whom you really are. There is a whole life inside of you waiting to be lived. It's time now to stand up and brush yourself off from all of the blows that have happened to you. Empower yourself, hold your head high, and do whatever it is you came here to do. Every time you feel you are not enough, look up to the heavens and know the entire universe is supporting you on this on, is a supporting you on this. When you see the sky above you, let that be your 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 reminder that you are more than enough. You are God incarnated and the only one who can give you value and a sense of worth is you. So lift your chin up and start to see yourself as the universe sees you. Human is what you are wearing on the outside. Inside, you are a brilliant light of divine source. Remember who you are. And Metatron wants you to know that even though much in your world has come to an end, that all is well. You are held. And that's basically, that's the message that they, that they brought to us today with these three cards. Do I need to say any more? <laughs> I, I wrote all of this. I chant, when I do these cards, I don't always like do what's written in the book. So I go in and I feel like, what is this card saying to me? What does this card want to, want to say to me right now? And um, so, and then I start. For me, when I write it down, I start to. It's almost like I'm channeling it as I'm writing it. And then it kind of comes through. And sometimes I surprise myself when I actually start reading it out. I'm just like, oh, did I say that? Because, like, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I would never have thought of that. So it's definitely channeled in from my higher self and from my guides and my spirit and my, my spirit guides and my team. So I'm getting ready to um, have a session with a few friends. It's actually kind of just going to be a little bit of a play session. And uh, we're going to go and uh, who knows what's going to happen. I have no idea. Um, but I just wanted to just tell you guys that I love you. And I just want everybody to know, like, I know... 
that you're feeling like now that you just don't want to do anything there might be a whole lot of you that are feeling this way that I was even feeling this way I was feeling like I didn't want to come on and do this anymore and then um, I actually spoke about it in one of my lives there at the beginning of the week and I got a couple people coming and saying that um, please don't stop doing what you're doing that they look forward to listening to me they look forward to like me coming on and sharing and that was enough to make me realize that what I'm doing is helping people and it does matter and so um, thank you for taking the time there was I think three of you that took the time and um, told me that what I do is important and even though I was starting to think that it wasn't important and that like there was no need for me to come on and and talk to you guys and uh, they made me realize that yes it is important and it doesn't matter how many people um, watch me or anything it's only about like all it matters to me is that I help at least just one person and it confirmed to me that um, I do matter and that I have something to share to people and that somebody is getting something out of it so I made me feel like I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep doing this um, I'll do this I'll keep coming on and doing vlogs and I'll keep coming on and doing interviews as long as I feel led to do it and as long as I know that I'm making a difference and if I ever come to a time where I'm not making a difference any and to the world or to the people then I'll just stop doing it but for now I'm here and um, I love each and every one of you I've come to it's like almost like I have a little bit of a family <laughs> some of you watch me and some of you interact with me and some of you watch me and I don't even know that you're watching me and um, it's I've I've gotten I've gotten a lot of new friends I've been triggered a lot throughout this whole thing uh, by some people that have come on and totally triggered me <laughs> but the ones that triggered me it's actually I want to say thank you for triggering me because you helped me be able to work on things that I need to face things and let things go that I needed to let go so the people that triggered me don't feel bad if you ended up triggering me because in the end you came and played a very important role in my life and I'm sure I've gone out and triggered other people <laughs> not knowing it or not trying to so anyway I love you all and I will see you again the next time I feel like there's some information or something that needs to be brought through um, in the meantime hold your light guys <laughs> Hold your energy as high as possible and um, know, be kind to yourself and know and drink lots of water and know that we are integrating a huge amount of stuff. The lion's gate that's coming through this year is um, very strong and that you need to basically be prepared and ready for it because it is going to maybe bring some people to their knees <laughs> so just know that you're being held and that all is well